We have KK and his weathered underground in the studio, and they're gonna play a couple songs for you. Enjoy, guys. How's everybody doing in Radio Land? This song's called Hey Mama. It goes like this. Hey mama, I'm such a selfish bastard. I stare through dirty window panes. At fumble DNA, they stumble up. Right now, who we'll come down to man-made foliage where all the crazies be? The crazy just like me, except I'm sheltered from the Can hear another jam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do we'll do another one. Uh, this one's untitled as of yet. And we're playing tonight at El Corazon. Uh, 
with a full band a little before eight. Doors uh, at four thirty, show at five. Yeah, you guys doors, are doors be at four thirty, show at five. We'll actually go on around eight ish. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So I suggest you come out if you're digging these tunes. <laughs> and we're gonna do this one. Chuck's trumpet On the corner of the street There's two hobos and me And we're not that different We got one pair of jeans One, two, three Up and evil Look at me Boys and men are like a roll magazine Oh, yeah We're going to play a song over here, and then the guys are going to do a little interview. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds All right. Cool. All righty. And we're back. All right. So we're going to do a quick little interview with the guys, or rather, I think Kirk might be doing all the talking, <laughs> and then um, they're going to play another song for us. So Kirk. Yes. KK and his Weathered Underground. How did it come to be? How? What is your inspiration behind the band. I mean, I know you and Kyle were in Gatsby's together, and this is quite a difference from Gatsby's. So how did you guys make this? Uh, well, when Kyle, you know, joined up with Gatsby and we were out on the road together, um, you know, just from being around each other all the time, I r we kind of realized how much our musical tastes were very similar. And uh, so we'd always, like, get in long conversations about <coughs> the Kinks and the Beatles and... Um, the Zombies and a lot of these old bands um, that you know we had been listening a lot to, and and uh, and so uh, we just kind of had this idea of like, oh, well, let's just do let's just do some stuff with y with you know your laptop that you've got here, Kyle. And so we had written all these songs, but they were all in like MIDI form, and they sounded really lame and and dorky. And but uh, but we were just really excited about the actual songs. And so when we came home and had some time off from touring with Gatsby and stuff, we uh, we m ended up meeting up with Phil and. And we started recording these songs, and you know, and then it kind of all came together and stuff. Um, but uh, the name KK and the Weathered Underground uh, is is not necessarily the band name, um, but you know, Kyle and I kind of created this character of just this everyday like common man, and he's just like um, he's just kind of like everybody else, but like way back in the you know back parts of his brain, like he has all he has like all this hope and all this like. A bunch of stuff to offer and stuff like that, and and uh, but um, and we had been talking about how scientists believe that like you know you only use half of your brain and that this other part of the brain was used a lot more way way back in in uh, prehistoric times and and when you know men were first kind of evolving and whatnot and so we kind of had this idea of like this guy not realizing the person that he really is almost kind of like that book by Philip K. Dick Scanner Darkly where 
the, the drug addict is narking on himself. And, and so that was kind of the thing, was to develop this character and give him kind of a, a daily soundtrack. And, and these lyrics were kind of coming from this guy who just kind of has this bland existence, but he knows somewhere uh, that he has all this potential to like, you know, save people and, and, and do all these great things. And so getting you know, past the practicality of, of daily life and looking for the extraordinary is kind of like this whole story. So, um, so anyway, that's really long <laughs> and <laughs> that's a crazy awesome. explanation. But no. that's, I mean, that's essentially what we've kind of tried to do with this record that we're making is kind of make this soundtrack to this guy's life craziness that's going on in his brain. So, so that's that's where the idea started, and little by little, we've just gotten to here. So that's awesome. Yeah. And um, I haven't seen the live shows yet, but I know that you guys have crazy instruments and things and people and multiple things. What are some of the sounds that you guys use on the album that, and where yeah, do they come from? Some of the al- the sounds are just crazy. Yeah, yeah, essentially what we kind of start with is, you know, Kyle and I had been writing these songs and then, you know, we knew we had all these ideas and things that we were hearing in our heads, but we didn't really know how to translate it or, wha- or how we could translate it or where to get these instrumentalists and everything. And, and that's when Phil came in and it was just like, you know, not only is he, you know, an accomplished cello player and has done all these amazing string arrangements, but his sister is, you know, you know has a master's degree in, in playing the violin and stuff. And so, um, you know, it, for some reason, you know, with when Phil came into the mix, like every, all the ideas that were in Kyle and I's brains, like all of a sudden, like actually came out and started happening. And so, um, so yeah, re- really, Phil's the guy behind all the instruments. Like he has, he has his uh, studio, the House of Breaking Glass, has just so many trinkets with, of like little old. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize you were so popular. <laughs> phones are ringing My in our interview. <laughs> Sorry, uh, keep uh, no, going. Sorry. Uh, but at any rate, uh, Phil, he uh, he's just exceptionally talented and a great musician, and and uh, he's really brought to life all the things that Kyle and I were thinking about. So. Sorry, that was a request for you to talk louder. Oh, really? <laughs> is it? I, I got you on. A, yeah, I got you full, but you're you're. I'm much louder than. Oh, okay. Shoot. Well, I mean, I hope everybody. I, I well, mean, we I could just hear said you. A ton of stuff. <laughs> I really hope everybody heard that. <laughs> you can hear him, but you're just a little quiet. Okay. Okay. So all right, all right, compared right. to me, you're. you're I talk quiet. quietly. I apologize. Um, there we go. But yeah. Uh, now you yeah. lost your train of thought. Yeah, totally Sorry. lost. Uh, <laughs> But do you want us you, you want us to play another tune? Yeah, well, I just one more question. I mean, we have yeah, all these songs. They're on pure volume on MySpace. When are we gonna get some? I, I heard we have cassettes. Yeah, <laughs> we uh, we um, had an idea to do a maxi single, which is like the little like singles that I used to pick up. Like um, like I remember I got like Cypress Hills, Insane in the Membrane, <laughs> and like the B side was like some song about killing cops, and my parents weren't very happy. <laughs> and then uh. You know, but they used to have them when I was really young, and we thought, "Oh, what a cool idea!" And and uh, so we did a tape and um, with our friends at ECA Records. And if you're looking for a copy of that tape, you can go to ecarecords.com and pick it up, um, or we'll have it soon at our shows. But essentially, we've got about ten to twelve songs now that we've been recording and are in the process of mixing, and we're going to finalize a big full-length record um, soon. So awesome. I'm ho- I'm hoping maybe the record will be out by spring, but that is just wishful thinking <laughs> so um uh, but yeah we'll, we'll we'll keep it we got uh absolutepunk.net is uh is running um an exclusive inf- song of ours next week so people can go there and check that out i suppose if they're looking for new stuff that they haven't heard so. or see you guys or co- yeah or come see us tonight at el corazon because it's gonna <laughs> be totally sweet and it'll blow your mind we're gonna jam and like hang out and it's totally <laughs> like it's not gonna be a show it's gonna be like a party so um yeah, if you're if you're if you're looking for something to do it's going to be the place to be awesome and one more song yeah let's do uh well i'm a nested in the heart of my 100 square foot canopy overlooking more studio Carry me sweet reverie tonight Stroll through shady haze parks Where we sleep
sleep near shopping carts and lick crisp spice grows out of children. But the tax form saying ain't a pretty pity penny has no legs. Severe case of whooping cough. And the rocks on my black road to where the hospital shut off to the tune of Ta na 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 And when the doom ensues, I just wanna be with you. And we can just. Someday, don't you worry about me, brothers. Be off the streets someday. Don't you worry, darling. I'll be off the streets someday. Don't you worry about me, brothers. I'll be off the streets someday. Don't you worry, mama. Yeah, I'll be off the streets someday. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Amy. Yes. It was really, really cool. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. Once again, guys, tonight, El Corazon. It's like $7. You're going to see some amazing bands. Of course, KK and his Weathered Underground are going to be there. 4.30 or doors. Show starts at 5. I'll be there, so I expect you guys there as well. Once again, thanks again, guys. Thank you very much. Yes. All right. Let's get back to some more.